What happened to me on American History X was no different to what happens with eight out of ten movie directors in this town on every film they make. It's just that they're prepared to take it, they play the game a little better than I do. Pony was folk about not having this movie be boring or slow or artsy. We wanted it to be a piece that kept you like this the whole time. I found a wholly different film, a film that I didn't even know was there, a film that needed more work, needed me to shoot some more scenes. It was that film that I was never allowed to complete. He actually put together a much shorter cut of the movie, which he thought played better. Unfortunately, a lot of what he cut out was scenes with Edward Norton. He reacted the way most actors do, which is, well, this is not better, because there's a lot less of me in here. New Line finally said, hey, let's try something. Hey, Tony, do you mind if Edward comes in for a little while? Tony felt threatened by that. Tony went into the editing room at night, looked at what Edward had been doing, and freaked out. I punched walls, I broke limbs, I cried. When I decided that I'd lost, I, I was very ashamed of this piece of work and I didn't want it to go out because, you know, when you've worked on something three years and it's not finished, you don't want anyone to see it.